If our streets could speak, they'd ask us, what do we see in their concrete crowds? Between the bustle and buildings stretching towards the sky, amidst the traffic and noise and passers-by, what do we view when we roam our city's roads? Or perhaps a better question, what do we choose not to? If our streets could speak, they'd wonder, what do we see in the eyes of the unseen? Those sitting between cracks in our sidewalks, left falling through cracks in our system, do we even bother to make contact? They say ignorance is bliss, but our ignorance can be the kiss of death for some. Tell me, why do our streets have names, but the people left on them do not? If our streets could speak, they'd question, do we notice the intersections? The crossing of a lack of place to sleep with so many other marginalizing identities, Aboriginal, queer, transgender, youth, mental health struggles, addictions, disability, drug use, there is much more at stake that needs changing than just providing people a bed. We can't just present a blanket and a pillow and forget about the rest. Patching potholes won't fix an issue that needs to be dug up and repaved completely. If our streets could speak, they'd say thank you. To those working the front lines, bringing dignity to the lives of those who are so often forgotten. Those who have a struggle and story most don't care to listen to. Do we recognize the work that is being done by the ones who see people as people far beyond the statistics, but is eradicating the desperate need for all their tireless work, something we can envision? If our streets could speak, they'd have tales to tell we could never dream of. But why ask our roads when we can ask those right in front of us what for them needs to be done? How we can bring the number of those without homes from any to none? If our streets could speak, they'd ask us, to open our eyes to our community and those who need help, and to see in the solution every bit of ourselves.